Warning, the following presentation was made available thanks to 13 years of Jeffco School District's public <laughs> education system. Any <laughs> ideas or themes are not subject to further explanation. Goggles are encouraged, but not required. Thanks, Ms. McGee. Any children left unattended will be confiscated and sold to Mr. McWhorter. <laughs> this speech was also made possible by Starbucks, puberty, and viewers like you. <laughs> Good morning, honored guests administration, teachers, family, friends, Lisa, hi mom, how are you? I love you. Um, as principal, and, all, and of course, um, the graduating class of 2018. As Principal Griffin, can be introduced, my name is Connor Humiston, and if you aren't already, please follow me on Instagram at Conrado9, C-O-N-N-O-R-A-D-O-9. So I tried to write today's speech like I wrote everything in high school. I stayed up all night on Red Bull, typing into a Google Doc while listening to Taylor Swift. <laughs> to be fair, first I took a nap, I ate some taquitos, I cried a little bit, and then I went to see that movie Blockers with some friends. <laughs> but if there's one thing that I learned at Devlin, it's that procrastination is key. I looked out in senior year, day to day, starting assignments the night before they were due, and finishing at lunch the next day. In fact, I wrote this speech Thursday night into Friday morning and had to read after rehearsal Friday evening. <laughs> Is it a perfect system? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm second in the class after all. <laughs> and now, while well, I'm sure you're expecting that a young, smart, handsome individual like myself might give a live speech about how we were all little saplings and about how Devlin's proud of our growth and spread our <laughs> Let's be real, we all knew Margaret Pilkington would do that for me. <laughs> but just like everybody promised, high school flew by. Why don't we take, take a little trip down memory lane? Let's start from the beginning. First, there was darkness. And then, <laughs> expansion started. Wait, the earth began to cool. The other ships began to drool. And Neanderthals developed tools. We built a wall. We built the pyramids. And then, just a little bit after that, we were born. <laughs> I'm getting sentimental already. <laughs> don't you remember your first day of kindergarten? I mean, I don't. But if you do, think about it for a minute. I'm sure it was probably nice. <laughs> so, elementary school happened. There was galaxy pizza, those little butt scooters in gym class, and Bill Nye the science guy. And then, only a short while ago, Devlin saw the brilliant class of 2018 enter its closed campus, PDA-free hallways, not to leave for another six years. <laughs> I will skip talking about middle school, because it was a dark, uncomfortable period in most of our lives. <laughs> we lugged around gigantic Chevy backpacks, which were socially awkward and highly annoying. <laughs> Next, high school came around. It seems like just yesterday that Mr. Murphy threw our term papers down the stairs, only to get the ones on top an A and the rest Fs. <laughs> I was one of the lucky ones, but hey, at least we'll never use the word thing in a term paper again. <laughs> for that time, Mr. McHales risked his life for science, sandwiching himself between two beds of nails so that we could smash a brick on top of them. Only in my wildest dreams did he not survive. <laughs> And now, this year, we finally have privileges like the senior lounge or senior parking spots so that we could roll in at 7.34, a minute before class started, and still manage to get to class on time. Or, if you're a Kenny Lou, exactly five seconds after the bell rang every day. <laughs> well, guys, we made it through the five term papers that some of us, and you know who you are, finished at lunch on a Chromebook three minutes before it was due. The wrath of Mr. Haller's purple pen and even the Euro Tide Pods, though I do have a couple extra if you guys are hungry after the ceremony. <laughs> we worked hard to get to this point, but we didn't do it ourselves, and I think the following people need so much gratitude. To our teachers who assign more homework than they have time to grade, thank you for so unselfishly sharing your time, talent, and knowledge with us. To our parents, that's you guys, thank you for supporting us in ways that it is more, more than possible to count. I must add, add that you have never failed to amaze me with all of your efforts preparing after prom decorations and activities. <laughs> to the administration, thank you for watching out for us in the halls, holding the door open for me in the morning when I couldn't get through with all my books, and a special shout out to Mr. Seen for scaring one of my best friends with a dress code violation for short shorts so much that he hid in the art room all day. <laughs> to 
our coaches and advisors, thank you for making school about more than just classwork. To the custodians and lunch ladies, thank you for keeping our school clean no matter the mess, like you probably deserve some sort of medal. To the counseling office, thank you for being generally kind and helpful, and also for having us fill out so many ICAP and academic surveys that we could probably do them in our sleep. <laughs> now I'd also like to say, on behalf of the class of 2018, you're welcome, Devlin. You're welcome for the most intelligent class and attractive, <laughs> I might add. Did you guys know that we took more AP classes and exams than any class before us? You're welcome, Dev won for the highest SAT scores in the state of Colorado by a whopping 70 points. You're welcome for the talent. <laughs> You're welcome for the talented musician, Harmony Fisher, the next Michael Phelps, Jack Moranis, the fastest runner I know, Lucas Jordan, and the acting legend that is Pete Dickey. It's crazy to look out at all of you knowing very well that this might be the last time I will. And even if you still think the dress is blue and black rather than white and gold, <laughs> or if you still think she's actually saying Laurel instead of Yanny, I'm really going to miss each and every one of you. Coming to the end of my speech, it is traditional to give some words of advice. As a graduate, as someone going into the world, you're still allowed to say, I don't know. Just because you're being counted on doesn't mean you can't say, I'll get back to you. This will come in handy, especially for you, Anna Bain, when your parents ask when you're finally going to move out of the house and stop eating all the food. <laughs> to which you reply, I don't know, I'll get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, here's this from my role model, Ellen DeGeneres. Follow your passion, stay true to yourself, and never follow someone else's path, unless you're in the woods and you're lost and you see a path, then by all means follow that path. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.